previously on Big Brother 6. 14 house guests moved in, each playing the game with a secret partner. Yeah! Rachel, the first head of household, nominated two house guests for eviction. I have nominated Kaser and Ashley. The guy's alliance assured Kaser he was safe. And Ashlea knew she was the prime target. It's like every time you walk in a room and people are quiet, you think they're talking crap about you. The new Big Brother house revealed its first secret, a hidden gold room. <gasps> the veto gave both nominees hope. The winner of the Golden Power of Veto can upset the balance of power in the house by taking one of the nominees off the chopping block. During the veto competition, three teams found themselves at the ends of their ropes. Ultimately, Rachel won her second competition in a row. Got a lot of power now, huh? She considered using the power of veto. I just feel a little violated. She locked me out. You know, think about it, guys. The power of veto, give it to Ashley. I'll put Jenny up. But at the veto ceremony, she changed her mind. But at this time, I feel it is not in the best interest to use the power of veto. Who will be the first to be evicted from the Big Brother house? Kaser or Ashley? And which house guests are secretly paired up? Find out live. Tonight on Big Brother 6. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother 6. It is day 12 inside the Big Brother house and already alliances are being put to the test. Tonight is the first live eviction. One house guest will be forced to leave the Big Brother house. This season, it's a summer of secrets. There are secrets everywhere, in the game, in the house, and even with the house guests. Every house guest is playing the Big Brother game with a secret partner. Each of these pairs entered the house thinking they were the only secret alliance. If one of these pairs makes it to the end of the game, the runner-up will receive $250,000, while the winner will go home with the largest prize in Big Brother history, $1 million. Tonight, we'll reveal to you the identities of these duos and their relationship to each other. But right now, let's take a live look inside the Big Brother house. Rachel, the horse breeder from Parker, Colorado, not only won head of household, but also won the golden power of veto. The two people she nominated for eviction are Kaser, the graphic designer from Irvine, California, and Ash Leah, the fashion design student from Plantation, Florida. Who will be the first house guest to walk out the front door? We'll find out a little later. But first, as Ash Leah battles to remain in the house, Kaser finds himself doing some major damage control. At this time, I feel it is not in the best interest to use the power of veto and let the nominations stand as they are. Rachel decided not to use a veto, which I totally expected. This means, though, I'm still on the block, and in order to stay in the house, I'm going to have to fight. Look, is there anybody at the door? No one can hear us. No, right? you open it. No, I don't think so. Um, like, I, know, I was talking to Maggie, and we are talking about, like, girls, like, being more girls in the house, and I, I suggested to her, I'm like, well, we should keep Howie. Who do you think's a bigger threat to me, you or Kayser? I'm definitely not a threat whatsoever, because I want to keep you. All right. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't we rather have some eye candy here, right. Keeny walking around, compared to some guy with his unshaved back or something, just for, you know, hypothetically? Yeah. I mean, when it comes to eye candy in the house, if I got to stare at Kayser every day, or Ashlea with her perfect body, I'd like to probably, you know, keep her around. Plus, she'd love to be in a house full of all women. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just talking. Who's... Who do I need? April. <laughs> She's thinking about, you know, voting case around. I think so. Yeah. She's definitely thinking. I don't want a girl to go. I really don't. We have to think about next week. If a guy puts us up, we're screwed. I had a conversation with April about voting to evict Kaser. I thought it was important to keep the girls together. 
I think a girl would never put us up because she's smart. She knows that there's more girls than there's guys. A girl would never put us up. A guy would. Gosh, I just don't know. Cute. What? <laughs> the girls, they all have gorgeous bodies and faces, especially Jennifer. I'm a man, you know, I'm not uh, going to hide away when, when a girl puts her bikini on. Your boobs popping up. It's going to pop out. I was just trying to cop a feel. <laughs> it seems like Mike and Jen are everything but ready to just throw down. Well, what's a big brother show without anybody hooking up? A couple of go because you can't trust them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I felt like all the guys had my back, but when Eric mentioned that Michael was going down the wrong path in terms of getting too close to Jennifer, I wanted to do whatever you know it took to make sure that the guys' alliance stayed intact. I don't want to meddle in anything, but do you think I should talk to who? Mike. Mike? That you should talk to Mike? To tell him to get the hell away from Jennifer if, he's, if it's causing problems. Leave it alone. Are you serious? No, I think leave he's it? smart. I think he's smart. Okay, so leave it alone. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. You know, Michael's a good guy. Also, I wanted to give him a heads up in a very subtle way. You are creating a stir. What? I'm not supposed to tell you something. You're not supposed to tell me something? No. What? People think that you and Jennifer are getting too close. Okay, thank you. Don't make it obvious. Stay close to her, but not as close. Yeah. Okay. No, just tone it down. Huh? Just tone it down. When somebody's accusing me of something, I look at things two ways. You either run away from a situation or you face it. I like to face it. I think Jennifer's getting her hopes up. Am I, am I being too flirty with her? I, don't I would just be Kind of ease it up? I'm not saying ease it up. I'm just saying be careful. You don't know what her intentions are. Yeah. Oh, I'm not, that's the thing, like, I'm not really, I kind of like to flirt around, but I'm not really that interested in her. Yeah, I'm just gonna back it up. So Mike comes up to me and says to me, hey, do you think I'm getting too close to Jen? And you know what? I, I may have been born at night, but I wasn't born last night. I knew right away that somebody had, had scurried like a rat and told Mike exactly what went down at the table. I feel blindsided because I know the only way he, the only reason he came up to me was because somebody opened their mouth. What does Michael do? He goes straight to Eric. Uh, Dude, you cannot blindside me like that. I can't help but to have questions in my mind. Can I trust you? You can't do that to me, dude. You know? Okay. All right. No, no problem. But I just want to clear the air. That's all. Excuses are, you know, everybody's got one and they all stink. Kaser basically twisted my trust and, and tore it apart. Between you and I, I cannot no. trust him. Well, you know what? We it's... don't have enough time in this game to yeah. trust somebody. Like, I can understand, like, you know, you don't want to lie or something like that, but he wasn't lying. Like, he just didn't need to say anything. Exactly. And, you know, people are going to dig some holes, let them dig them, because all that's going to do is help you out in the long run. I was right there when you told me, not the same. I was right there. When we came into this house, myself, Michael, James, and Kaser had uh, an alliance, and I think that that alliance has been shaken up a little bit. There's a lot of trust being broken. I told you not to tell Eric anything. He came up, and my alliance with Eric is to no. now. Dude, I didn't. I told him that nobody said anything to me. He's smarter than that, dude. He's smarter. Than, he's a smart guy. Just play it cool. Do I worry that my time is near, that, that people are planning to get rid of me? Sure, I do. But you never know with this game, and you just really have to wait and see how things play out. It's time to talk with the house guests and see how everyone's doing. Hello, house guests. Hey, Hi. Hi. Yvette. Yes. You spent a week living on peanut butter and jelly and nothing else. <laughs> yes. What was the worst part about it? 
knowing that I had to go to it, that had to be the worst. Uh, waking up and knowing that there was nothing else but peanut butter and jelly, uh, going to bed and knowing that there was nothing else but peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> it was awful. Everything about it, everything about it was just terrible. Then our plan is working. <laughs> it, worked, it worked quite well. It worked quite well. It even had Cappy taking out some fangs and stuff. Howie. Me? Yeah, you. What's up, Julie? <laughs> what is it like living in a house with eight beautiful women? Oh, uh, God. Uh, uh, why you ask that? Well, um, well, it's probably every man in America's dream, that's for sure. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at Big Brother for doing that to me at all. At all. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, you. <laughs> Janelle. Yes. Out of all of your housemates, who would you say has the best sense of humor? I think Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Definitely>. Jamie. <laughs> I'd probably have to agree. <laughs> Sarah. Yes, hi. Hi there. What was your reaction when you learned about the secret gold room? Oh, I thought it was awesome. I didn't have to sleep in, you know, on a cot anymore, so that was a bonus. Well, house guests, the gold room is the first of many secrets in store for you this summer. Last season, Big Brother was called Project DNA. This season, we've dubbed it a summer of secrets. The house is full of surprises, and you never know when they will be revealed. I told you. I told you that wasn't the end. Thank you, house guests. I'll be back to talk with everyone a little bit later. Thanks, Julie. Bye. Thanks, Julie. Have you figured out which house guests are secretly partnered, partnered up? Next, we'll reveal to you the identities of the pairs. But first, the house guests are voting to see who will be going home tonight. Nominees, Kaser and Ashalia, are not allowed to vote. Neither is Rachel, the current head of household. All votes are cast in private in the diary room. Let's hear what Yvette, Sarah, and Janelle had to say as they cast their votes. Ashley and Kesar are the two people that, are, I'm, that I'm closest to in the house. There's no reason I would want to get rid of him or even Ashley really. Ashley is more annoying. She's obnoxious. She has to top everything that everybody says. She gets into conversations that she has no idea what she's talking about. I don't feel like she's a threat to me right now. She would be somebody to keep around for a while and be easy to pick off later on. I really don't really want to get rid of Kaser. I mean, I don't want to get rid of Ashley, but I mean, they're, they're making me choose between Kaser and Ashley. And I don't know what to do. Kaser, I think I can trust. He was in a conversation where it was stated that if somebody else becomes HOH, or if he becomes HOH, he would put Bo and I up next week. So why should I save his butt if he's gonna put me up? I vote to evict Kaser. Welcome back. This season, the house guests are playing the Big Brother game with a secret partner inside the house. Each of these duos enter the house thinking they were the only pair playing as a team. Just who are these secret pairs and have they begun to figure out this shocking twist? So I just want Eric's wife to know honestly. I'm gay. So you want to know the twist this year? Bo and I are the twist. We've been friends outside of this house. I don't know who's a girl. And we're playing these people and they have no idea that we know each other even before this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stop what? it! Nobody has any clue, no idea, no inclination that we are connected in any way. Yvette and Bo, they're a team. Bo and Yvette know each other. <laughs> God, I'm like shaking right now. They're working us. They've been playing us. Bo has the girls. He has the girls. Yvette has the guys. Oh my why god. Do you, why do you think Yvette only has the guys? That's the twist, bro. That's the twist. Just how like they had the twins before. I'm glad we all talked. <laughs> Kaser and I did not meet in the Big Brother house. <laughs> We've known each other for over six years. We're not the only ones. Knows both. April knows somebody too, and I can't figure out who it is. 
I was getting comfortable thinking that we're the only ones. The possibility of there being several twists, it might start getting dirty pretty quickly. Eric and I have been really close friends for several years. <laughs> My boyfriend is on the same fire department as him. I'm pretty sure everyone's got a partner. I just need to figure out how it works out. I just think so. I don't think Janelle's got a partner. Janelle and Ashley Our strategy was just lie, 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 deny, deny, deny. James is a wild card. No, he's not. He's not wild. He, he knows wants, what he wants. Right. He wants to have a married or something's going on. I know you're not all right. Okay. You look like you want to cry. Sarah and I have been dating for about four months now. No one suspects us right now, and we are the twist. Who should we keep? Come on, beautiful. Don't be nice to me now. I'll be nice to every chance I get. No, you're being this mean to me. It's really difficult being in the house with James and not being able to show emotions towards him. We'll make it up when we get out. Hmm? We'll make it up when we get out. How are you gonna make it up? Lots of hugs and kisses. No, other than that, I want lots of shiny stuff. I think James knows somebody. Mm -hmm. Sarah. April and I are from the same town. We're sorority sisters. Sweet! And nobody in the house suspects that we know each other outside this house. Do you know there's people that have twists in here? You know? There has to be. Someone said Janelle and Ashlea. So that's one. I guarantee that's one, trust me. That's one. What's the matter? Are those Janelle's? No, they're mine. Oh, they are? Yeah. Does she have the same ones or she borrowed yours? No, she has the same ones. She's got the whole suit though, only the pants. I know there are other twists going on and right now my eyes and my ears are open, so I'm looking for anything. So what are you gonna do if I go? It's gonna suck. Yeah, obviously. Janelle and I are good friends. We were roommates for quite some time. <laughs> Obviously, we know each other, but we're not going to let anybody else know, um, and that's our secret. But, like, what do you think I should do as far as, like... Yeah, because it's obvious we're friends. Yeah. Because I have a feeling that everyone's out. Well, I mean, anything can happen, but... If Ashley goes this week, it's really the young, beautiful, single people against the old, bickering people and the Latin chick and the little gay guy. What about just telling like one person that I trust? Like who? No. <laughs> God. Oh, the purple panties with us. <laughs> no, he's... I think the other house guests would be shocked if they knew Howie and I were good friends. <laughs> just because we're so different and he's so out there. Yeah, you gotta admit that. Howie, put them down. <laughs> you gotta admit they're turning me on right now. <laughs> Rachel and I are the twist of Big Brother 6. I don't think anybody in this household was, you know, would suspect such a nice, clean cut girl like Rachel would go out with an obnoxious, good looking pig like me. Howie's a wonderful person. He's, a, he's got a big heart, but I'm out of his demographic scale, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're probably, oh, they've been used. <laughs> When these pairs entered the house, they knew that if they were the last two standing, they would have a shot at winning the largest prize in Big Brother history. But they have no idea that the grand prize is $1 million. Ultimately, it will be up to the house guests to decide whether they disclose their secret partnerships or keep their housemates guessing. Now, let's talk to Rachel in the HOH bedroom and see how it felt to be the first head of household. Hi, Rachel. 
Hi, Julie. Now, just a reminder, your fellow housemates cannot hear anything you're saying, so feel free to speak openly and honestly. Okay. Now, you won the first head of household competition and the Golden Power Veto. Yes. How did it feel to have so much power? Well, actually, it, well, it felt great, but it also worked right, well into our plan, I think. Um, the other house guests, you know, they really didn't want the responsibility of not using the veto. So I'm glad I want it. Now, unbeknownst to everyone in the house, you and Howie are working together as a team. Yeah, can you believe that? <laughs> it is hard to believe, <laughs> but the two of you are good friends. Yes. But since moving into the house, you two have acted like total strangers. How hard is that? Well, actually, it's, it's not been too difficult. I haven't seen him in a few years, and that's, um, that's helping. Um, Otherwise, just uh, I'm just enjoying watching him make everybody laugh. So, <laughs> including us, <laughs> including me. <laughs> In the first HOH competition, you and Howie were the last two standing on the surfboard. Now, how did the two of you decide who would become head of household? I told him to get off the board, basically. That I was cold, and I told him just to let me have it because I thought honestly he would have a better chance at getting head of household in another competition if it were something more athletically. Uh, involved so he uh, he just he took the plunge for me <laughs> a nice guy you discover the secret room and the key to the hot tub yes. all on your own I know. why did you wait so long to share your discovery well I was trying to think of the best way to share it with everyone I didn't I didn't want to just announce it and have a mad dash to the room and then a bunch of people fighting over it I wanted to make it fun and um, it, as it turned out it worked out really really well all right well thank you Rachel you thank can you. head back downstairs okay. to the living room Coming up, in the outside world, they're dating. But in the Big Brother house, James and Sarah are acting like total strangers. What is this doing to their relationship? But first, with Kaser and Ashlea nominated for eviction, the house guests find themselves struggling with a big decision. Here's what Michael, Howie, Jennifer, and Maggie had to say about the two nominees. Ashlea um, thinks that she is prettier than everyone else. And that's that's really sad. I mean, she's got some great boobies. Um, I mean, she looks phenomenal. So I like to keep her the whole, uh, the whole, you know, for the whole time. She's young, and young people sometimes are very egocentrical. I like to keep Kaiser in this house because he's one of my uh, strongest allies in the house. So, but he also gives a better hand massage than any professional masseuse I've ever been with. Kaser is probably the most honest player in this house. And having him on my side is beneficial because he, um, he uses his head. I think he's been like causing trouble by spreading rumors. I uh, vote to evict Ashley. Welcome back. James and Sarah are one of the seven secret pairs playing the game inside the Big Brother house. They are boyfriend and girlfriend, but have chosen to keep their relationship a secret from their fellow housemates. How hard is it to pretend that the love of your life doesn't exist? All right, who's the hottest girl here? Total package. Like marriage material? Mm -hmm. Sarah. I agree. The twist with James and I is going well. They really have no idea that we are actually a real couple. Can't wait to get back to the lineup with you. Mm -hmm. I love you so very much. I've been trying so hard just to act natural. It's hard to not show all of my attention towards him. I love James so much. People are gonna freak out. My relationship with Sarah is definitely one of the more serious ones I've been in. We've used the L word with each other. One of the most difficult parts is like, you even worried sometimes about looking in her direction. It's hard not to be able to, you know, show our emotions, but we're finding ways to get closer to each other. We have our little thing when our fingers are crossed. That means we're telling each other we love each other. James flirting with other girls in the house. I know that the other girls just adore him. You do have the cutest bathing suits. You're so sweet. I've never seen your tattoo before. 
there are a lot of cute girls in here. So Sarah's keeping me on the uh, straight and narrow with that. I know she's jealous when she sees one of the girls flirting with me. Janelle, stop smoking. I'm not smoking, I don't smoke. Sarah sees all these girls as threats towards me as opposed to threats in the game. When she gets together, she wants to talk about us as opposed to discussing the issues in the game. If I wasn't here, would you be hitting on these other girls? You see the girls here. So not my type. If that is. In my head, I'd like to believe that Sarah can pull this off, but in my heart, I, I just have some reservation. When we return, who will be the first house guest evicted on Big Brother 6? Right now, let's go back to the diary room where Bo, Eric, James, and April give their thoughts on the two nominees. Ashley, uh, um, as much as I like her, she, she really is high maintenance. She's very high on herself. If Ashley survives this, this eviction, she's definitely another little tool in my bag. In this game, being kind of like the you know, Barbie doll type of girl really isn't going to get you far. I just don't know um, how much I could trust Kaser. Kaser is a lot sneakier than Eric gives him credit. Not a lot of people give him credit. Kaser's a rat. I don't know if I can trust Kaser as far as I can throw him. I vote to evict Kaser. In just a few moments, we'll find out who will be evicted from the Big Brother house. Will it be Kaser, the graphic designer from Irvine, California, or Ashlea, the fashion design student from Plantation, Florida? Both house guests hope to make it to the end with their secret partner and walk away with $1 million. But tonight, one will be forced to leave the Big Brother house empty-handed. Let's talk with both Kaser and Ashlea and see how they're doing. Kaser? Ashlea, you are the first two house guests up for eviction. Before I reveal the vote, I'll give each of you the chance to say some final words to your housemates. Okay, sir, why don't you go first? Okay, thank you. Well, I just want to first address the current HOH. Um, I know it was a difficult decision to make, and uh, I respect your decision. And um, it's tough being on the block, but you know, someone had to be up here. and. That's just the way it goes. And I just wanted to thank everyone for a very enriching experience in this house. And I hope that I have more weeks to come with you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Kaser. Ashlea, you're up. OK, I'm going to sit, though. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody here. Um, no matter what happens, I had the best time. And you know, thank you for letting me share in this, because nothing will ever compare. I can't really you know, experience anything like this ever again. So I just want to say thank you for sharing that with me. Well done. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you both. All right, house guests, it's time to see who will be the first person evicted from the Big Brother house. Just a reminder, when I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have one minute to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of nine to two, Kaser, you are safe. Ashlea, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. This is going to be the hardest part. <laughs> Carrying my bag. Oh, heavy. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 B
Well, no. that's not the way I go. Well. Okay. The bag looks heavy. You can put it down right there. <laughs> Come like, on up. <laughs> I'm going to fall. I know I am. Hi, Ashley. Hi, pleasure to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Please have a seat. Yeah, she's fun to party with when we get out. What? We'll all be partying. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. But so nice. Welcome back, bro. This wasn't exactly yeah. 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 Yep. Sorry, guys. Jane. This is only gonna get harder. I know. Oh. You know what I mean? It's only. It's, it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Oh, God. How are you for a hug's sake? Cook Moringa, Cook Moringa, safe. Ashlea, you were the first person evicted from the Big Brother house this season. When Rachel nominated you, she said it wasn't personal. But did you take it personally? Um, yeah, I mean, you kind of do, because you're like, why out of all these people was it me? But I think that I really didn't get to connect with her out of all the people. And I know that KSR didn't, so I really wasn't offended at the end. I was kind of like, okay, you know, kind of deal with it. Now, you're playing this game with your secret partner, Janelle. Yes. And you're trying to stay in the house. You're trying to keep this partnership a secret. How hard was that for you? It was really hard. Towards the end, I think we didn't do a good job of it. <laughs> We're like, all right, forget it. If I'm going home, you know, we have to spend our time together. So it was, um, it was really hard because, you know, that's the one person in the house out of all these people that you really don't know that, you know, you know you connect with. So. so knowing that it was the goal for the two of you to make it to the end together, do you feel like you played hard enough to stay in the house? Um, I don't feel like I played... Uh, I don't know if I would say hard enough, but it, it's hard being the first person and, and pushing so hard because... That can work against you sometimes, you know, because they're like, oh, you're playing the game too hard in the beginning, and that might be, you know, a threat. So if you play the game too hard in the beginning, they're going to be like, all right, she's already playing hardcore. Can you imagine when it gets to the edge? She's going to be pushing. Yeah, it's so, a tough call. Yeah, it is. It's like you don't know what to do. What do you think Janelle's chances are of winning this thing without your help, without you in the house there with her? I think it's going to be really hard because we were speaking in the end and we were really close, so I think people might feel intimidated by that or because she went against the majority rules. Um, I think her and Howie actually both could have a chance of going up next, so. Mm, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Well, in the event that you were evicted tonight, Janelle, your secret partner, did tape a goodbye message for you. So let's listen. Ashley, if you're getting this message, um, you've been evicted and it's, it's not your fault. You had nothing to do with it. The reason you got evicted was because you looked good in the bikini. That's it. <laughs> Playing the game without you is going to be really hard for me because I'm going to feel like I'm alone in this house. But I want you to know that you're my best friend forever. And um, when I get out of this, you'll still be in my life and we'll still be best friends. I will take care of those people who were behind your eviction. <laughs> guaranteed. They will be taken care of by me. Any thoughts? <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to cry, but you guys had to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that she didn't say anything too shocking, did she? No, but, you know, I was fine. <laughs> Well, Ashley, as you know, this summer on Big Brother, it's called the Summer of Secrets. Your secret was that you were playing this with Janelle, mm -hmm. that you had a partner in the house. What you don't know is that everyone in the house has a partner, has a secret ah. partner. <laughs> now, you and Janelle were told that the two of you would have a shot if you made it to the end to win the biggest prize in Big Brother history. Mm -hmm. Any pair that makes it to the end together, the runner-up will get $250,000, and the grand prize winner will get $1 million. Wow. What do you think of this news? I knew it. I knew Bo <laughs> and Yvette knew each other. <laughs> they had to do them. <laughs> Aren't you a little bit sorry now that you know what you were playing for? Yes, that's so, so mad. Well, Ashley, just a reminder, this is a summer of secrets, and you never know what can happen. Hopefully I'll come back. <laughs> but thanks for, what did you say? I said hopefully I'll come back. <laughs> well. You never know. <laughs> but thanks for playing the game in the Thank meantime. Thank you. Thank you for letting me. If you have any questions for Ashlea, you can talk to her live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. Who will win the most powerful position in the game? The head of household competition is coming up.
Head of household, with the position comes power, privacy, and a major responsibility. Safe from the threat of eviction, the HOH must put two house guests on the chopping block. Who will be the new head of household? Let's find out. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Rachel, as outgoing HOH, you are not eligible to compete. We call this game fast and easy. The questions are easy, but you have to act fast to stay in this competition. Here's how it works. I will ask a series of true false questions about the Big Brother house. You will answer by pressing green for true or red for false. If you get the question wrong, you are eliminated. But if you all get the question right, the person who answers the slowest is eliminated. The last person standing at the end of the game will be the new head of household. Does everyone understand the rules? Yes, yes. Julie. Yes, Julie. Yes, Julie. Excellent. Good luck, house guests, and here we go. Thanks, Julie. True or false? All of the fish in the house are yellow. The correct answer is true. Everyone got it right, but Bo, you were the slowest. Please have a seat. You have been eliminated. <laughs> Next question. True or false? 15 house guests moved into the Big Brother house. The correct answer is false. Everyone got it right, but Kaser, you were the slowest. You are now out of this competition. Please have a seat on the side. Everyone else is safe. Moving on. True or false? In the first competition, you picked coconuts off the trees. The correct answer is true. Maggie, you were the slowest. You've been eliminated. Please join the others on the side. Everyone else still in the game, still safe. Moving on, next question. True or false? There are two hot tubs in the backyard. The correct answer is false. And James, you got it wrong. Please join the others. You are out. Too quick. Too quick. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. True or false? The head of household room is on the first floor. The correct answer is false, but Sarah, you were too slow. You were the slowest. You're out. Next question. True or false? The team that lost the first food competition could only eat yams. The correct answer is false. April, you were the slowest. Please join the others on the side. You could only eat peanut butter and jelly is the correct answer. True or false? There are more men than women living in the house. The correct answer is false. Michael knows he made a mistake and is eliminated. Join the others. True or false? The gold room was discovered by Rachel. Correct answer is true. Jennifer was the slowest on that. You're out, Jen. Join the others. Everyone else is safe. True or false? The gumball machine only accepts nickels. The correct answer is false, but Yvette, not fast enough, you were the slowest. Join the others. Have a seat. Moving on. True or false? The kitchen cabinets are green. The correct answer is false. The kitchen cabinets are red. Howie, you were the slowest. Please join the others on the sign. On the side, we are down to Eric and Janelle. One of you is about to become the next head of household. Remember, whoever gets this next question right and first wins the HOH competition. Here we go. True or false? There are only two safes in the gold room. False. Eric got it right. Congratulations, Eric. You are the new head of household. And Rachel, that means you have to hand over your key to Eric.
How will Eric handle being the new head of household? And how will his reign affect the secret pairs? It's a summer of secrets. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother 6. Let's go back to the living room and talk with the new head of household. Congratulations again, Eric. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was quite a celebration you had. Good job. How does it feel to be the new HOH? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Julie. I've been busting everybody's chops about having lights out at 11.30. Now I can go to bed whenever I want, so <laughs> it's all good. So it sounds like you're looking forward to that private bedroom the most? Yes, I am. It's nice to have a private bedroom again. I'm only missing my wife, Julie, and the kids, so. Well, congratulations again. You won it fair and square. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Julie. Who will Eric nominate for eviction? Find out Saturday at 8. And Tuesday at 9, will the Golden Power Veto save one of the two nominees? Then, one week from tonight at 8, I'll be back here for the next live eviction. And we'll find out what happened to some of your favorite house guests from Big Brother 5. And to see the Big Brother 6 secret pairs in action, log on to CBS.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. For now, let's eavesdrop on the house guests. From outside the Big Brother house, I'm Julie Chen. Good night. I a different fish than y'all. I was wrong color. No, I was the last one in the dancer. Oh. Yeah. I got my question. That's why, between the questions, I was, going, I was going false true, false true, or whatever, whichever way it was to remember. I wanted to be in. Here I am, like, pulling it. Oh, man. I can't believe I had false. What's for dinner? Hey, Kathy, what are you cooking for dinner? Oh, good, don't take care Even my jetty. Oh, for a major person, I want you to get a mini game. Yeah, they're cooking for dinner.